country's art is gradually gaining international attention and so more patrons see the need to promote the creative work of the artists and show them to the world. On the program today, we'll be doing just that, but keeping our eyes on the artists in the nation's capital. A warm welcome to the show. I'm Melinda Kinlami. We'll tell you what they are up to in a moment. Stay with us. To poison a nation, poison its stories. A demoralized nation tells demoralized stories to itself. The sun will shine on those who stand before it shines on those who kneel under them. Let's begin with this art, craft and culture show which reveals different works of art done by a variety of artists in Abuja. Cultural wealth expression is the theme of this event organized by Gada Africa, a platform to showcase the country's rich art and emphasize the relevance of art to the Abuja community. Art will not only just contribute to our society, art is the bedrock of our civilization. We grew from there. That was where we all started from. And today, we discovered that the values drawn from art have been eroded by Western civilization. But if we can come back, as in trace our step backwards to embrace our, our creative arts, paintings, sculptures, dances, food, masquerade, and the rest, if we can embrace this, I am very, very sure the world itself will begin to come to identify with us Nigerians simply because of the gold mine we have in our cultural heritage. Our uniqueness is in our cultural diversity. We are one of the most diversified nation on the planet today, currently. The works of art catch the attention of the people with a keen eye for exceptional art. They believe it can contribute to the society. definitely contributes to society. Ever since I was young, personally, I always liked art. However, I do believe that it inspires the younger ones to make a living for themselves. If they see things like this, they get inspired, they are going to draw, they are going to go both in and outside the nation. You understand? That's why I believe it's going to help the country grow, both financially and well, individually as a nation. The fair features the works of some of Abuja's finest who, through their diverse media, seek not to only promote culture, but change their society. The exhibition is a very fantastic one. Uh, it's actually an eye-opener. It's a window to African art. I'm afraid I've traveled to Munich uh, for an exhibition, and uh, a German lady was actually, actually asking me, uh, do I have a body or a particular firm that their business is actually collecting and investing or showcasing of African culture and art. And Gather Africa have risen to be one of the very fantastic people who had such an idea to project the African artist who has been abandoned and neglected but yet useful in the world stage. You know, talk about what is happening in the country, you know, especially Nigeria as a whole. 
So most of my work are actually centered to, to development, you know, and uh, structuring the leadership composition in Nigeria. So like a particular piece here, you know, it's talking about, you know, communication between two Nigerians like that. So I try to like strike a balance between our society, our culture, religion and all. I always try to portray culture, try to portray how our norms, our cultural heritage, not through art you can revive your culture, try to pass a message that we do, the, the, the upcoming youth can understand how our, how our cultures are. So when you look at my art, you will see I normally depict the cultural heritage, not through art. So with art you can be able to explain what you want to explain. A live drawing session is also part of the menu, just so that the visitors get a feel of the process. Now we are actually looking out for one of the criteria is premium. We are looking for premium artworks, artworks that can actually depict uh, elegance, beauty, and uh, creativity. Another thing again we look at is the person behind the work, because there are a whole lot of creative geniuses we have that could actually come up with creative things. So we actually look at the artist behind the work, we look at the creativity behind the work, we look at the story behind the art pieces. So all the artwork you see here are not just here. The artwork you see here are, have been positioned. There are stories for each of the artworks you see all around. And a tag is actually on each of the pieces. If you go around, you'll be able to see some tags on the pieces there. So those are part of the criteria we we'll pick up does the art have a story? What's the origin of the art? Who is behind the art? And what's a message? Is this artwork communicating? So those are part of the things we look at to be able to curate some of this art before bringing them here. The works of art featured explore themes pertinent to Nigeria and Africa. The organizers see art as the bedrock of civilization and its relevance cannot be overemphasized. We have some more spice with the works of art sent in by young artists online. Then when Art House returns, we have more artifacts for you to feast your eyes on. Don't go anywhere. And these are the works of art that made the cut for this week.
Let's begin with this work done with aluminium foil by Coyote. He calls it waiting. Then Christian is finding solace with this charcoal and pastel on paperwork. To Julius, who has this oil on canvas work, he calls counter. Affection is Akimumi's acrylic on canvas work of art. Sunset, done by Joel, is an oil on canvas work. Bolaji is telling everyone to stay strong always with this pencil on paperwork. And finally, we have Innocent, a work of art done with charcoal on canvas by James. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We do encourage you to keep them coming. And don't forget, put the relevant information beside that image. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere.